happy to have seven of you just sitting in here waiting for me to go live. Sorry, I've just got to get rid of a notification so I can read my screen properly. I hope everyone has had a lovely couple of days since I last saw you. Um, a couple of days ago, I'm just going to reach and grab that card. And I'm also going to mute myself and do all of the things. Notification that I'm live. I know I'm live. So I'm just going to backtrack a bit. Hello, my name is Ellen Woolbridge. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator on the central coast of New South Wales in Australia. So I have um, customers all over Australia. I have my amazing followers who uh, watch my videos, who purchase my classes, who say hi in the comments. So hello, Donna, Cheryl, Bev, other Donna and Dawn, thank you so much for joining me today. So I have recently just finished up my textured floral class, which I have the class that anyone can purchase. Hey Brenton, hey Mary. Anyone can purchase my textured floral class, 10 Australian dollars. Link is in the description box below. Now in creating these classes, I often have a lot of leftovers that don't get used in the cards. Um, so I like to come on here and make a few more cards and I show you how I use up my leftovers. So on Tuesday's video, hey Sheila, um, which is normally a Facebook Live, but Facebook had been having some issues, so I just did it over here. We made this card using leftovers. So the only two things we stamped was the detail stamp, the two-tone flora over the texture floral, and the sentiment. Cheryl does. Um, I'm so sorry if you're watching this on replay and don't have the um, don't have the comments, the live comments up, and you didn't watch Tuesday's video. There was lots of yelling happening in the comments to get my attention. Some could call it harassment. Some could call it love. I choose to call it love because I was in hysterics. <laughs> So, yes. So, that was the card we made on Tuesday. Now, there was a lot of speaking very loudly in the comments about this one pink flower. So, this is what we are using today. We will be using other things other than this one pink flower, but I will use that pink flower. And... Um, I have, I'll show you my little dish. We've graduated to a smaller dish. Things are just going to kamikaze out. So when we flip around, I'll go through all the bits. I don't think I'll use them all today, um, but we'll give it a red hot go because there are a lot of um, things in here that will go with the bubble bath pink flower. So a lot of the things have been cut using the dies. I'm glad I'm making you giggle, Cheryl. I have cut a number of things using the dies. We may get them out today. We may not. And I was here thinking, oh, what do I have that has bubble bath? We And I grabbed out my delightfully eclectic paper, which is a quadruple pack of paper in the annual catalogue and right sitting at the front are two pieces of bubble bath paper so we will see what we use today because I have scraps of them already oh Brenton oh Brenton there was lots of um lots of capitals in the chat they were very insistent that I do certain things and god help me if I disagreed with them so today I am agreeing with them a bit Jodie isn't here yet is she no Jodie and Cheryl were making their thoughts very known Brendan 
So what I'm going to do now, I am going to flip around because I do have an appointment. I had an appointment this morning. My teeth are all cleaned and sparkly. And this afternoon, I'm picking up a new pair of shoes at my podiatrist. So, and there are lots of other little things in between that are happening today. Crazy day, but I cannot not be here with you guys because this is our normal date. So um, I need to be here. Yes, Brenton, it was quite amusing let's flip around does anyone have any crafty loft I plan on starting to plan my plan plan I um, will start making the samples uh, for my uh, my class this month which is hey Corinne uh, which is using the Le uh, let's go shopping and lay shops sweet so that's my plan i am just going to move this paper one second just to see how we're looking on screen actually i don't think i could have got that more perfect if i tried so i'm going to bring the paper back turn off our overhead light okay so now we have no shadows. Now, please keep in mind, this is a quadruple pack of designer series paper. It is currently 15% off. It is one of um, the designer series paper that is on sale until the end of the month. I think the end of the month is on Saturday. No, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Friday is the end of the month so you only have till then to get this paper now this is a great paper to share with a friend because you get four sheets no you get eight sheets oh you get lots of sheets and lots of patterns so that's why I'm saying a great set to share with a friend I know um, Bev shared some of this pack with me as did Monica um, so I have less of a pack because I shared with friends. Um, yes. Hello, Miss Dawn. How are you? Now, these, I have not mixed up these papers or done a thing. This is how it was sitting in my box of papers. So we have this gorgeous, and it pretty much is, um, fresh freezer and bubble bath then we have this stripe on the back so I actually already have some smaller patterns of this and I've got this geometric design with strawberries on the back so I don't really need the big sheets because I've already got these scraps here but I still want to have a look through and see if there is anything else we might like. Now, there's that polka dot that we were thinking about using on Tuesday. Now, that polka dot, let us look. Because I'm thinking I can make this, maybe not with the geometric piece, but it also then gives me a chance to use this larger flower. I don't know if it'll work with the pink. I'm thinking those two might just work. So you can tell me what you're thinking. Yeah, sharing is caring. Absolutely, Bev. Absolutely. So tell me what you're thinking of these two together whilst I keep flicking through. So we have our, we do actually have some pretty peacock. We have pretty peacock with some pink, petal pink love hearts. Got the pretzels. Pretzels aren't on theme, but they do go with another stamp set in the catalog. Scaringly, that doesn't look half bad. Okay, two options. I'm going to have to pull this paper out a bit more. Um, that's, oh, I love that ledger paper. 
when I was scrapbooking, I was an absolute sucker for ledger paper. And I say when I was scrapbooking because I was a scrapbooker before I was a card maker. And we've got two ledgers in here, which just makes my heart sing. Don't think that one's a bit busy. So I need to know whether you're vibing love hearts or polka dots with the floral. And both will work equally as well. I'm, they're too big. Those crushed curry polka dots are way too big. And that is not quite the end. Those flowers don't quite go. And then we've got black and white on the back. The hearts, Margine. Hello and welcome, Miss Margine. I'm with you. I'm thinking the these are going to work. Obviously, I will use a mat in between. And once again, our polka dots get sidelined. I'm hoping this piece of paper isn't doesn't have any hard feelings because it's been sidelined two videos in a row. Seriously. Yeah. Okay, so we've got three against one. Sorry, um, Donna. Okay, let's just pop this back in here we will just be making one singular card today um see even that looks good i may change my mind and go with the stripes but i am thinking i am thinking maybe stripes and hearts is a little better <laughs> Lavender is very happy. I picked up a new toilet seat today. Don't ask. <laughs> Lavender is holding the box up to her behind to say that it fits. These flowers actually look really good together. So these are just my use it up bits. So with that flower looking so fantastic, I will need to add some crushed curry. And I'm thinking maybe a small crushed curry mat. And of course, we are going to use these pieces as well because they all go and they are just scraps. Well, not scraps, they're leftovers. So I've got these two pieces and then we have this lovely, and these two are vanilla and these two are white. So if I add another vanilla element, I think that will work really nicely. And then I don't, yeah, this Cajun craze flower, that was a bone of contention, um, Brendan, last video. I don't think we will use that, but we've got three stamped elements, two leaves, and a pre-stamped sentiment. Now, this is Night of Navy, but does vibe very well with the um, pretty peacock. Oh, yes. I. This is uh, an emerald. It does. It's not... My jumper isn't quite blue enough. But I agree, and my jumper is keeping me warm. It is full sunshine today with the top of 15 degrees Celsius. So it is a little on the chilly side, so I've got some layers on today. Looking after myself just a little bit. Okay, Brenton. Brenton's saying that looks amazing. Let's go with it. Okay, so I'm thinking this piece needs to be full card front size so not even like no mat this this um heart piece is the whole card front so let's go i think this card may come together heaps quicker because i used so many pieces on tuesday i have a whole lot less selection now the only question that i have just bear with me here a second please go in there we go just pulling my paper away to try and cause less of a mess 
um, I'm going to probably cut this a little longer than what I need so then I can get it perfect and just trim off the excess so leftover bits go in my little bag of off cuts and then that will go back in with that full pack of designer series paper okay so we have this so we have a couple of the pink hearts so we've definitely got three pink hearts that will show through i have a feeling this one and this one will be covered up but that will still work okay so just going to leave the trimmer there for one second and I'm going to get rid of these three pieces. So out of all of that stuff from Tuesday's video, I have three leftover pieces. So that's all that's going into, back into my use it up box. So that is pretty, pretty good. I like the dots too, but hearts looked, feel better. Yeah, yeah, they do look better okay so what width do we have here so this is nine and a titch so let's say nine centimeters so that is nine centimeters is a centimeter and a half smaller than the card front so we need to go that is half no, that is a full centimetre, that is a half a centimetre, and we shall cut right there. I'm just seeing which side will look better. I think whatever side I get, I'm going to be cutting into the pink rather than the white, because we see we've got the white here. So these are like the design choices that I make along the way. Um, so what I could do, I could cut a titch off this and make this piece both end on pink. Um, but I'm not particularly worried, but it is something you can think about. I could colour some of those hearts, Bev. That is a fabulous idea. When I get it all stuck down, I can very carefully do I have, do we have a, but yes, we do have bubble bath in the blends. Awesome suggestion, Bev. Loving it. Okay. So we have this cut. We have that cut. While I've got this out, I am going to get a thick basic white card base. Is that pre-scored? Is that the correct size? It is the correct size. Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Yes, but I just need to score it. And then I have my card base. Ooh, I need, sorry, I'm sitting here going, I need something else. I need to grab that crushed curry. Just let me move my paper. Put it on the floor. Oh, crush curry. And I do, I tend to use crush curry quite a bit. It's a bit of a chameleon colour. It can cast really yellow or it can cast uh, really orange, depending on what colours you're putting it with. And I think today we are going to cast more yellow or oh, not quite i don't quite have the correct width in my scraps so we will grab out a brand new piece of paper hey ali haven't seen you in a while welcome welcome okay so i've got this one that can go over there Oh, that's lovely, Ali. Okay, so I said there, 9.25. So I do just want a little, a little, little mat. Nothing too crazy. And for this one, I was here. So that is one 
two. Yes, hang on. I was here. That is half. One, two. Always better to measure twice and then cut correctly the next time. <laughs> Happy mail's the best. I only got bills today. Hello, Tamitha. Um, but yes, it was it was bill day today. Registration for my wheelchair trailer. Joy, joy, lucky I actually don't have to pay that one. So that's good. Bev's got quite a bit of Happy Mail recently. I may have sent Bev a card. Because I knew she'd love it. And of course, yes, the glue goober went. We are still working on this half almost dead glue. And if it is actually dead, dead, we will call it. No, we have glue coming down. I was going to say I'm ready to call it and throw it in the bin, actually. Ooh, quite. No. We're just going to persevere because, hey, Kimberly, thanks for joining. Um, even with like face moisturizers and stuff like that, I use it till it has nothing left. I think it's a generational thing. I don't know if my mum did that. I can't remember her doing that. But it's like, yes, you've got to use it right till the very end until you can get nothing out. And then my kids use half a tube of toothpaste because I cannot share a toothpaste tube with my children. I just can't. I just can't. The lid needs to close every time on the toothpaste. And... The lid needs to close and it needs to be neat and tidy. So, yes, Bev, you are right. We are, even though you're only seeing a few hearts, I do need to um, colour a few in. So, before we do any adhering, I'm going to grab just a scrap piece here and we will grab our don't know whether we're going to use bubble bath light or dark let's just I just want to try and match it to what's already there because that one is already seen oh I think bubble bath light is perfect oh what is it actually no bubble bath dark so I'm just going to very carefully we're not doing any shading or anything like that we are going to try and stay in the lines note the word try so just a little bit random I'm sorry if you can hear banging David is doing I can barely even tell which ones I've colored and which ones I haven't okay so pop this back and see if there are any other ones I would like to do I kind of want to do because we lose this one I'm going to do that one so I just feel this is a nice finishing touch, even though we're doing it kind of at the start. Um, it is a finishing touch. I do just want to do this one here and I nearly lost that. And then I think we're done and we've brought the pink back into our heart layer which is perfect okay what have i missed oh good i'm so glad i'm so glad i'm not the only one that does that about toothpaste yes tamitha it has to be squeezed from the bottom and at the moment i need one of the the concertina things i know my hairdresser has one 
and he uses it for the hair color. So he's like me, we're, we're very close in age. And he's like me, he needs to get every last drop of hair color. One, because it's his business. And two, these things cost money. Um, but he needs to get like every last bit out. For some reason today, we're working bottom up on our card. Normally I work top down. I think this may be going in the bin. Oh, no, there's a drop. Oh, oh, oh. oh, there's another drop. There's another drop. That's just a bubble. No, okay. Let's just pop this in the bin. It has had a good life, thank you, and kabam. Now, do I have another one easily at hand, or do I... Yes, I do, actually. There we go. So we're going to open a brand new one. And then Ellen is going to over squeeze it because I've been squeezing this one for so long. Shouldn't be doing this with my nails. Should be doing it with the tool and not my nail jewels. Okay, so I just literally run my scissors down the side there and they're so pretty when they're brand new they don't have any um they don't have any glue bits on it they're so pretty and clean and then we start using them don't we <laughs> it's okay i do keep i do have a clear storage box that i keep all my glues in I keep, what else? I keep all my refills, all my glues, my surplus embellishments, surplus blending brushes. Um, I do keep quite a lot in there. Um, so it's a, my little surplus box. Okay, finish coloring so I don't need that. And that little layer of crushed curry just pink and orange or pink and yellow do work very very well together okay happy with that it doesn't have to be perfectly straight because our stripes are wonky okay now the big question is do i add detail to this flower like i did in our card from Tuesday. So I will show you what I did on Tuesday. Obviously, I would use a different color, but I added the two-tone flora stamp over this. So this is how the um, textured floral stamp set is designed with these whimsical flowers, but we can just make it a little more formal. Add detail, Jodie. Hello, just, oh, you're heading out. I'm heading out soon as well. Going to the podiatrist to get new shoes. Add detail, so detail, detail, two-tone flora. Now we've just got to work out what color I might like to use and this is losing its stick so I'll just clean the back so I can't kind of pick it up the back of it it's been used so well it loses its stick you you think leave as is I don't know that I want to get want to get Jodie cross after Tuesday so I literally just wipe the back on my chamois and then it is nice and sticky again you can even hear it that's awesome so easy to do okay everyone is out voting you brenton on that detail and um if anyone wants to know where i learned this from i learned this from ruth trice um she's rather amazing and she did it. I copied lots of other people have copied. Yes, the details have it. That's exactly right, Ali. Um, mum, 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 mum. Colour, crush curry. See, Cajun craze and crush curry work really, really well together, but I really, really don't want to use it. 
do I use pumpkin yes she is amazing and always has been amazing or do I try and go over with crushed curry I don't even know where my crushed crush curry is here I could keep it tone on tone and go over with the pink meat needs more detail, you feel. Yes, I can do that as well. I can go over with um, fresh freezer. I can definitely do that. Yes, I was watching her a little bit this morning. I'm just going to go subtle, subtle and do tone on tone with this one because... It's a pop enough. So you can see the detail, but it's not like as contrast as this one. Okay, so now I need to close this ink pad because don't need dropsies. Yes, I do agree. I love it without, but I like the detail with. And I've used these stamps quite a bit already without. So I'm going to grab in this detail and we can, <clears throat> we can maybe add some splatter in the background using Fresh Freezer. So I think that will look really pretty. Make it less graphic and a little bit more whimsical. Um, and I need this one. So my two stamps are there. And I need Fresh Freezer. Which is a perfect buddy with the um, bubble bath. Okay, so pick this up. And then pick... This up perfect. So, this flower in the middle, it kind of already has a stamp on it. Yes, of course, Judy. And we finish with bling. That goes without saying. Okay. Do, 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 do. And just like that, she looks even more beautiful. She will dry back. And when I do, <clears throat> I just need a drink of water. Please bear with me. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> that didn't help at all. How rude. Why isn't Glenna here when I'm using splatter? She must be busy. She must be having an early shift in the morning and is needing her beauty sleep more than her normal amount of beauty sleep because she is a beautiful lady. Okay, oh, why the hell did I do that? Yes, yeah, so much better with the fresh freezer. Exactly. Okay, so this is what the tone on tone looks like. So there's detail, but it's not in your face, Brenton, okay? It's there, but it's not like, hello. This one is a little bit more, hello, I'm here, and that's okay. Okay, now I am going to use stamped off splatter. Where did I just put that scrap piece it's back over here okay so definitely stamped off splatter and i'm going to do it before we even pop anything down so that is looking very 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 faint but that is the kind of detail that i am actually after I don't want anything too much okay happy with that let's do a little bit at the bottom 
and then if I need to add more I can add more but I do have a base to work from thanks Jody I'm glad you like it okay that can go over there these can come in so these are the two for six pieces that we're going to use now I do like this going off the edge just like that um, I do like this one going over the top thinking and maybe thinking already I need more splatter Yep, I think that's a little bit more even. Okay, so maybe this one flat, this one popped up because this one's so big. And then I definitely want the sentiment. Yep, so I want this flower over and I want both of them popped up. Okay, right. We know what we're going and what we're doing. Hello, Miss Carol. No problems, Jodie. Thank you so much for joining and um, not yelling at me. Love you. Okay. So just about there because I want to cover up that edge, but I still want to see that pink heart. And remember that this is a card front size, so I don't necessarily want it overhanging because this is a whole card size. Okay, we're coming to the end of our dimensionals and that is always a very nice feeling. I think I have one mini dimensional left, but I have already been using my edges because I needed some really really skinny pieces recently so I went I've got them here I might as well use them I've also used the edges here for some um, skinny sentiments okay I'm glad you're liking what I'm doing Ali thank you actually grab my tool so I don't use my jewels. So this is the craft tips and this is actually a weeding piece. Um, and it works actually really well for your little pieces in your die cuts. Um, it also works if you've got an electronic cutting machine and you can weed out the vinyl. I find it really good for lots of things having this hook it's replacement for my hands that don't let's be honest don't always work fantastically anyway that whole splatter that i added i'm about to cover up the whole lot of it but that doesn't matter okay and then and do i hopefully i've got enough here and yes this one just here on just going to put one dimensional on because i do have all my other greenery to add so i want to have room to add that welcome jennifer oops no oh, i always do that because these dishes that i have are interchangeable and I just grabbed and put my um, my backing right in there. Okay, that's going to be like that. Now, we've got these three pieces. So, I just need to get some extra bits that are hanging around out of here. Oh, there's one already out. So that hook piece just works perfectly. So I kind of wanted, this is what I was thinking, this piece 
coming out of here. That's a bit big. It's a bit big. Here's a little big. It's okay. I can cut pieces out of it and just use single sprigs. I think I wasn't really thinking when I was gluing these. That's okay, we're just going to, we're not going to hurt the die cuts doing this, but I am going to cut this right there. So this piece is still one piece, but I have literally just made it shorter. And then this piece can go in the rubbish, that's fine. So I like the repetition of the Lost Lagoon here. And I definitely do want... So if I cut this piece just there, I think that will work. And then we are talking about bling. So I've just shortened it. I haven't glued anything down yet. That will go approximately there. What do we think? Just while I look at some dimensionals, I do have a green one. If we're not loving the lost lagoon i can put in old olive but i'm just not quite sure it works as well and i'm thinking maybe some splatter up here because this one shows but i just think i want some splatter coming into the corner there this one looks fabulous just some there <laughs> a little surgery does work wonders I know that far too well. I do have a little surgery coming up next month. And it is, unfortunately, on a live day. So I won't be living from the hospital while I'm high on anaesthetic drugs. Okay. But that everything is fine. Remove the top, top right-hand piece. So remove this piece. So you just, so no to the peacock and just that. Maybe a little piece you could just. Or, yeah, I could cut this piece down and have a small piece each side. So I can still further cut that down. Already? Lavender's off to get her first tattoo and someone's feeling just a little nervous. Oh, are you doing lunch beforehand? How lovely. Uh, what have we got here? We do have some peacock, although that's very green. That's actually more the green of my jumper. These ones just kamikaze down. I don't think those will work. Let's see what comments. Um, she is getting a raccoon in a karate gi. <laughs> Everyone's asking what you're getting, love. Are you still live? Yes, I am still oh, live. Hi, girls. <laughs> and guys, Brenton's here as well. Oh. I don't mind bringing in more of that fresh freesia with these ones. That would look nice. Good luck. Love you. 
very helpful. There will be some stress sweating. I do have a tattoo, so I'm just kind of laughing because I know. So, pink sequins or purple gems, I think, are our current two front runners. Or, of course, we've got our, um, our very popular, always use them, iridescent basic rhinestones. I know the iridescent rhinestones will work, but I thought we might use something to The pink sequins, the gems. Yep. Have fun. Okay. How are we going? Evening, Miss Cindy. You just miss Miss Lavender. She just walked out the door. We were talking about operations and tattoos and all kinds of things. Gems. Oh, come on, guys. Two gems sequins. Yeah, love's getting a first tattoo, Cindy, and I'm having a surgery next month. And the surgery, you can guess what it is. Because gems, gems, okay, everyone's going the gems to pull in some of that fresh freesia. Oh, I'm so sorry, sequins, I will use you. My friends don't, yes, exactly, Cindy, exactly. I knew you'd get it first go. So have we given up on... These, I'm going to cut these down further because while I've got them, why not? We're just trying to work out our greenery, Cindy, and I am going to do one more stamping here of some, some splatter. Because where it's going to cover up, I think that will look better. Okay, so we've cut down a lot of our die cut pieces. I think these die cut pieces really are best to be um, used with our adhesive sheets. Yeah, that looks so much better. Okay, so what we can do is we can snip here thank you so what i could do is it seems such a piddly little piece but it may just note the word just add something Oh, that's so lovely. You like the leaves, Cindy. Awesome. Yes, yeah, Cindy, we are due for a bit of a catch-up. Do you know what? I don't know that... I think up there three elements is good. I think down here having two elements will just work much nicer so see we've kind of got that and that so we're fine on the bottom i'm actually going to commit and can someone please say no vellum there is no vellum on this card I have in my head maybe thought, do I use the bow punch and add some vellum pieces? But, um, yeah. I have thought about it, but I haven't. <gasps> there is too much glue. Spread, spread. And this one in particular is actually very, um, very delicate. Okay, so I'm just going to try and slide and 
pop that in there. I don't mind that we are covering up a little bit of this flower. That's fine. Then we've got the splatter coming out. Do we like the bottom bunch vellum? No vellum. No, no vellum, Cindy. No vellum. It doesn't need it because we're going to add lots of gems. Well, not lots of gems, but we are going to add gems. Now, I definitely like this under here. So it just brings in that um, peacock from the card base. I'm just going to get that quite away under there. And then, see, that looks lovely just by itself. But I've got this piece, so we're actually going to use it. I think if I add any more greenery, because I've got two flowers, three pieces of greenery, one sentiment. So when you look at it in design terms, it actually works really quite nicely and is pleasing to the eye okay loving that poking out here poking out there we've gone across the edge here which makes it look a little bit more organic so that's working nicely. I don't need this glue anymore. Thank you, Bev. I'm so glad you love it. I'm sorry if I missed you coming in, Bev. I may have. I'm so sorry. Oh, I know. It's all good, Cindy. I like that up here is lifting off in a few places just makes it look a little nicer so these are these tinsel gems in the three pack and we were looking at the tinsel gems in the four pack which just means four colors so this is misty moonlight fresh freesia lost lagoon so technically i could use lost lagoon on here i don't quite like this lost lagoon against the paper so we're going to use a fresh freesia and pick up this and tie everything together i'm going to bring in my crafters tip again because this actually works really really nicely just thinking, do I follow this or do it? Because we've kind of created an X. Um, so, kind of do want one just there. And I just like popping it under. And just one there. Oh, that's a bit too close. Just a little bit further away. Perfect. Okay, so we've got two there and we want some up here. So I just want to do a whole tuck under there. Oops. I don't want to not be able to see it, but I just want to pop it in that nook right there. And go up here. And then probably put one on this side. Just put one up here. So then we have five. What are we thinking of that? I've still got to pop this on the card base. So I'll give you a little look and I can always add more or I can take away. But what I might do now is prepare our card base. Oh, thank you so much, Ellie. Yes, it does give me so much more control. I'm definitely happy I bought a whole new 
because I bought a brand new handle to add this to and then you've got your blade on this side um, but yeah loving this loving loving definitely recommending it um, I haven't used the perforation tool yet it is very sharp the perforation tool so we must be very careful with it because it is like a blade thank you girls look i really didn't think we'd make this because i was i've been pondering this card knowing what i was playing with today and i really didn't think we could make that crush curry work but we did and that just makes me happy okay so let's just i can put the glue directly on the card base here and i closed it up thinking i was done but alas i'm not great <laughs> You're going to make me think of Peter Pan every time I use it now, Cindy. Uh, I didn't mean to drop it like that either, but that's okay. Just pick it up. Now, I did slightly make this piece of paper. I t actually, I made it the perfect size. I thought I had made it a little bit bigger than what I needed it, but I ended up cutting it perfectly. Because I have next to no overage on this cut. Jeez, that's cute. I really am happy with that card. And it's nothing like I thought I was going to make. So let's go through what we used. Obviously, I used my use it up bits. This, uh, see, all the rubbish in the bottom because I've gone for the wrong bin. So these are the three bits. I have a plain leaf, I have an old olive leaf, and I have a Cajun craze flower. So that's all I've got left from all the bits I had on Tuesday. So um, I managed to use everything. I did once again add in our two-tone flora to add some detail to our largest texture floral. Now, Brenton. Are you okay with the detail because it is two-tone um, rather than Tuesday's card? I'll show you the difference. So Tuesday's card, we use Cajun Craze on Crush Curry, where today's card, we're a little bit more clean and simple. And I didn't do any um, blending where I did blend some of those white areas. But because we had white in the card, I just left the white areas and stamped Crush Curry over the Crush Curry flower. Um, all these flower pieces and sprigs are cut using the textured floral dies. So you can get this textured floral die and stamp set as a bundle. You save 10% when you buy it as a bundle. Two-tone flora, unfortunately, is not a bundle because it carried over from the last mini catalogue. Now, the other thing we used and I did put away but I'll grab it out again is our delightfully eclectic designer series paper so the B side to this floral is this stripe and the B side to those hearts is alphabet tiles so if you want, oh, sorry, Brenton, did you like this flower better with the detail now that I have stamped it tone on tone rather than having that large amount of contrast? That's all. I'm so glad you love it. So yes, we use the delightfully eclectic um, paper. This is 15% off ending tomorrow. And... It is a quadruple pack. 
So a great pack to share with the friend. Um, you get oodles of very different patterns in here. And they, this paper goes with many different stamp sets in the catalogue. Um, so you will find something to work with so many cards in this pack. So I think that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I do hope to be back on Facebook on Tuesday and hope that everything works for me. If not, I'll default over here to a YouTube live. Okay, fair enough, Brenton. I just wanted to check in and ask. Um, but yeah, you can purchase all these products from me. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I'm here to help. That is my thing. Oh, an SU package en route. Thank you, Cheryl. I would love some thumbs up. Um, I think everyone's been pretty, pretty generous so far with the thumbs up. Um, they're the stamp sets. And I will see you with something completely different because I finished off my textured floral class. The link to the class is below now that I've used up my bits. And I will start designing the Let's Go Shopping class, which will be my July class over the weekend. Thanks for the thumbs up, Bev. Thanks, everyone, for the encouragement, support and advice. As always, I appreciate it. And I'll catch you next week. Bye.